r slash dating over 30. Delula Grill says. Does sex ever get better? Throw away because the guy I've been seeing knows my username. A friend of a friend 39 male, asked me 40 female, out a while back. We've known each other for years, we've never been close, but he has many qualities that I admire, he's calm, collected, kind, generous, intelligent. On dates I did most of the talking. We kissed on our first date and I initiated sex on our fourth date. He warned me that he wasn't very experienced, which to be honest I wished he hadn't, because it turned me off a little. Then the sex was oh so bad. He really really didn't know what was going on. Maybe by not very experienced he meant he was a virgin. Maybe I should have asked. But tbh when I was younger I had sex with guys who either were virgins, or had very little experience, and they had more initiative, and were more eager than this guy. The word starfish doesn't even begin to describe him. I tried to communicate what I like, but I think he could notice I was feeling frustrated which might have stressed him out too. I was hoping for some pillow talk afterwards but just like during our dates he wasn't very talkative. Cuddly and starry eyed yes, just not saying anything. Finally I asked him to leave. The following day at therapy I decided I didn't have feelings for him, and physical attraction is important to me, so I should break with him, which I did. He was upset, but he asked if we could still see each other as friends. I still like him as a person so I agreed. In the last month we've been going out every week, sometimes a couple times a week, while we are also seeing another in group hangs on weekends. When we are out on our own it's like a date, except that it's not a date, and he's become more talkative and more comfortable around me. My cat adores him, and I've met his sister a couple times. He seems to have a very loving and healthy relationship with his family. Yesterday we, together with other friends, went to a LARPing event, and at several points during the event I felt very attracted to him. I had half a mind to ask him in when he drove me home. But I didn't, because I remembered how bad the sex was last time. I'm fond enough of him, that I don't want to lead him on if I'm not sure, that I want a relationship with him. I need to know, could sex get better with practice? Are there people who are just bad at sex, and can't help it? Hopefully someone here on DOT, has been through something similar, and can share their experience. Shire. Affectionate bar 7943 says. Of course it does. He's an experienced. You threw him away so fast over one time, when he said he was an experienced. Jordan 20x1 says. Y'all are having sex. Slash. Ob1 Kenob says. Thanks to you, he won't become the 40 year old virgin. Hestia Maslow says. Sex is never good in the beginning for me with any new partner aside from the rush of novelty. Personally I would have given him more time. He sounded nervous. Being able to communicate, and willing to try, are the most important sexual traits. Plenty of experienced men don't have these. I wouldn't try to date him though. He should date someone who gets this. You sound like you don't have the patience for him which is fine. I'd only date more experienced men sexually, if I were you, there's no shortage of them. Flashy Lab 1819 says. Watch the 40 years old virgin. Odds are that the man, that you are seeing, has lived like the main character for much of his life. Think of it like a case study for what you are going through. Flashy Lab 1819 says. Watch that Steve Carroll movie, where he's a 40 years. Clinched Thunderbird says. I don't think his lack of experience has anything to do with your reservations. I think you understand that having sex with this guy will lead to further investment and expectations that you aren't enthusiastic about. You're wondering if you can justify pursuing sex despite your reservations about things leading anywhere. Obviously, this platonic arrangement you agreed to was a stupid idea, since it's functioning like a relationship in everything but name. 
when you're hanging out several times a week and regularly sleeping together. Are you going to hit him with a I told you we are just friends. After he understandably assumes things have developed. Him trying to learn shit says. Maybe it could get better, but you're both essentially 40. The guy had over 20 years to get experience and get better. Personally, I would walk away and not look back. Sexual compatibility is very important to me. It's not just about whether someone is good or bad, though. Are their abilities and desires compatible with yours? I've also had clunky sex with people before and it really makes you feel awful. r slash dating over 30. Libra Zebra says. Where is a Cupid replacement dating app? I feel like there is a huge market for a dating app that replaces what a Cupid used to be. Make users answer a bunch of questions, have them weight those questions, based on personal importance, and yes have pictures, but not have a swipe based app. I feel like that app was so great until Match bought it. There is definitely a market for a new app that does what a Cupid used to. I'm surprised a replacement app hasn't arrived. Odd Efficiency 6684 says. Apps are not good. Try IRL. Rumblegood says. For anyone who doesn't like swipe based dating apps, objectively across all research on dating. Attractiveness is what everyone values the most when dating. It's literally the number one metric. Hinge, majority of people just like pics not the prompts. Bumble and Tinder works great just go be attractive. If you're struggling and not paying to improve your looks on your diet or working out that's on you not trying. If you're struggling to date, it's because you don't look good enough for the people you're dating. Again it's literally the number one metric. Luckily for everyone, it's also the easiest to fix lol. Mandan17 says. Reallife.com To stay sap Mort says. Boo. Backhead.bree26 says. That's how I met my partner and honestly it was great. He is so my person and all that info was right there. The closest is matchmakers, I guess. Blaze556 says. The problem with dating apps isn't the app itself, it's the users that join the apps. It's the same people on all of the apps. RCHL239 says. I loved OKC 8 to 9 years ago, can't stand it now. I hate swiping and want to be able to receive and respond to messages without having to match right away. I'll usually be willing to chat back and forth a couple times to see if there's conversational chemistry, but the requirement to match makes me pass up people I might end up being into. I met my favorite ex on there in 2015, and because he had no profile pic and very little on his profile there's no way I would have matched if that happened now. Not my Porftia says. Okay Cupid can't even see your likes, can't even do anything on. That terrible app got to pay to send or receive him SGS worse app ever. R slash dating over 30. Random 3 says. Gay and be women dating other women, who pays in early dating? I 39 female, have a second date with a woman 45 female, I met on Tinder. I'm B but have very little experience formally dating women. With men I typically offer to pay my share early in dating, unless they absolutely insisted then I will let them pay, but I by no means ever expect anyone to cover my share of date bills. My date is gay, we are both child free, career oriented, and financially stable. I asked her to dinner, and she picked a pretty expensive restaurant. I'm pretty excited, I can't remember the last time I went to a restaurant that requires a reservation. But I'm also a little anxious about how to deal with the bill. Our first date we went for a walk, I brought us coffees, and she brought muffins, so I kinda feel like the expectation may be to split the bill, but wanted to check with any gay women here, and if there's any typical cultural expectations on who pays in this sort of situation. I'd rather split the bill. 
but don't want to offend her if she is expecting me to cover it since I'm the one that asked her out. Thoughts? Amsterdam Assassin says. The person who invites the other person to the date has to pay the whole date. Or split the bill, if amenable. So just pay the whole bill. If she wants to split the bill, tell her you'll send her an online banking payment request later. Don't send the payment request. That is what a classy person would do. And if she doesn't invite you on another date, you'll know she wants you to lead the dance. May I see your dog bl says. I'm in a same sex relationship as a B woman, and I treated our early dates the same way I did with men. First date I fully expect to split the bill slash pay my own way, unless one party specifically planned and executed the date with the clear intention of treating, but if they offer to pay the whole bill I'll politely and sincerely say thanks, and, assuming I want to see them again, say the next one is on me, and then follow through with that. My favorite thing about this relationship though, is the fact that we don't really have the same societal norms to work with. She makes double what I do almost to the dollar, so she sat me down fairly early on and instigated a conversation about how she'd like to take care of certain more expensive things. As an example we just took our first trip and she asked to pay for our flights and accommodations, if that was okay with me, but that she wanted to make sure I didn't feel obligated to her in any way as a result. I'll let her know that was fine with me, but asked if we could have an ongoing dialogue. For our trip, in that in that case I wanted to take care of some other things we had planned that weren't as costly, and she gratefully agreed. Honestly just have a chat about it. In our relationship we mostly trade on and off paying for each other. It feels nice to treat and be treated, but it also feels good to really openly communicate about money from the get go. RL Wright says. 35 male, so from my hetero experience, whoever does the inviting should pay. I always look at it like an investment to find out if I'm interested in seeing the person again. If I'm it's $150 well spent. If I'm not, it's $150 well spent. I try to choose a place that I'm interested in going, so that either way I can have a good experience trying something new or enjoying something old. I'm cordial, take the bill and enjoy spending time with someone new. If it goes great, and you want to see them again, great, ask them if they would like to spend more time together in the future. If you find that you're once again in the position of taking the lead and it matters to you financially, invite them to something inexpensive like another walk in the park or around town. In my experience the people who are interested and mesh best with me will say I had a great time, dinner is on me next time, let's go here. Or let me cook for you at my house. Or whatever. If they are a person putting an equal quality they show you by putting an equal effort. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.